Right. Yeah, you tell Milo and Max to sit and stay and they have moved an inch. Yeah, well, it's their job to body burn me, so after they left them, I just... Ah, uh, I get so... Frustrated with the lack of control over your life makes you want to rebel? God, I love how well you know me. Oh, I paid attention. I know, you did. So how is everything? Not so great. You want to tell me about it? You might not want to hear about it. It has to do with Sunny. It always has to do with Sunny. Sorry. Okay, well, I'm prepared to listen. As long as you don't tell me that you and Sunny are going to elope or something. No, no, it's... No. We are not. <clears throat> I actually told Sunny that we can't be together, and he didn't want to hear it. No. Oh. So I asked him to leave because I was just afraid, you know, that I was going to have one of my panic attacks and he finally did, so. It's unbelievable, you know? You know, he never sees how he hurts you. I hope you mean it when you say that you're done with him because you need to find somebody who knows how to treat you. Sonny's fault. It really isn't. It's me. You know, I just become a crazy person when I'm around him and it doesn't matter. It's over for good well, this time. For now. You know, until he decides you've had enough time to get over him and then he'll come after you again. Because that's the way he is. You know, he doesn't care who he hurts in the process. It's the way he's always been. It really is over for good. I know that for sure this time. You know, I, I've grown up and I know what I can and can't have in my life. Anyway, I'll be okay. I wonder if you're not. Hmm, maybe I'll just call my sponsor. <laughs> and that would be me. 